Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I showcase a nasty bot special attack in Grim Snarl. Now when you look at Grim Snarl's stats, you can see it has a great HP 95 and an excellent attack at 120. However, its defenses are pretty bad, 165 and 75 aren't that great, and its speed is really slow with 60. However, now you, when, you look, when you look at its stats, you'll be thinking, well, I'll, I'm just going to run a, a physical uh, Grim Snarl with that 120. But its special attack is not bad at all at 95. It's not as good as its physical attack, or physical attack, yeah. But uh, at 95, it's not, it's, not de it's decent. Plus, it has um, access to nasty plot, so, uh, which is uh, really great. So uh, usually, people use the Grim Snarl as a physical attacker, uh, bulk up thanks to Prankster and uh, maybe sub T-Wave, and maybe as a utility with T-Wave, um, Reflect, Light Screen. They usually can, they can also use rest and um, sleep talk with the bulk up and, um, fun and a move. However, I thought I might uh, try something new and I'll, um, I, thought I told myself that why not try a nasty plot set. So that's what I did and it actually worked out pretty well in some key matches. Now keep in mind that I'm low ladder so none of my matches are actually a high at, at a high ladder. But still I got a pretty good result in some matches. So I'll be show showcasing my move set right now and the four matches that I and four matches that I had success with it. So this is the set I am running. 252 on special attack, 252 on HP, and the rest, which is four on the special defense, with modest nature to increase your special attack and decrease your attack, since you won't be using your attack. As for the ability, I will be using Frank Sir. And for the move pool, substitute, nasty plot, dark pots, and draining kiss. Now you could use a, you could use a dazzling gleam instead of draining draining kiss since it has an 80 base power instead of 50 which draining kiss has. Draining kiss has 50 and doesn't doesn't gleam has 80. But the reason I have draining kiss is just for recovery, for longevity longevity. Longevity. So yeah, um, so with, with na and so the idea here is to um, use substitute with uh, and thanks to prank you remove first and you 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 have to use substitute against something that can't break your sub like a passive Mon, or like for example Dragapult, who can't usually break your sub with uh, its uh, stabs. And from there you can just go for Nasty Plot, and then depending on who you're facing, you can just go for Draining Kiss to deal a great amount of damage while recovering HP, or you can just go for Dark Pulse to do a massive amount of damage. So uh, so yeah, this is the whole idea of it, or the whole gist of it. Like I said, you can use Dazzling Grim if you're looking for um, more damage output instead of longe longevity. But yeah, that's uh, m this is my uh, set, and like I said, I'm gonna be showcase, show, showing you four matches where, where I had success with, success with it. And so, uh, just before I end, the item is leftovers uh, like for longev longevity as well. Okay, guys. Um, before we begin, uh, I just want to say I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show, show three matches, and the fourth one I'm just gonna show a part of it because Grim Sun only did a very small thing in that match. So now let's get started. Just a quick team preview. You've got Scrim Snarl, the one I just showed, um, Nazi Plot, uh, Draining Kiss, Dark Pulse Sub, uh, Sick Web Orb Orbital, Tox Effects, uh, Hagelfin, uh, Zelicent, and uh, Corsola with, uh, with Will Wisp and String Staff, and, and Scarf, uh, or Exodrill. Anyways, let's get started. So uh, I, lead with all the, I lead with the Corsola, he leads off with Hydra Hydra Hydreigon. I go switch into Grim Snarl just to take the Dark Pulse, he switches into Zelicent, I go for the Sub. Now he goes back into about brings it down on, on, as I go for nasty plot. So here I get Zara just to go for the dark pulse. I do 63%. I get the flimstone god. Now he here he switches into as you can see Rotom here just to take the dark pulse, but it's an easy like 95% and then he dies because of the sand. Anyways, he brings in extra drill, breaks my sub, but whatever life orb and then uh, dark pulse will just finish it off. So yeah. To, <laughs> So uh, that's great. Now he brings in uh, Ditto as I go for. Uh, so I just bring the Orbital out just to take the draining kiss. Now I just go for U turn as he brings in Hydreigon. <laughs> so I just go back to Grim, Grim Snarl. Go for the sub. He goes for U turn and does not break my sub. And he just gives up. So, okay, that's the first match. As you can see, yeah, Grim Snarl uh, destroyed uh, or got rid of uh, Extra Drill, Rotten Heat, and did 63% to uh, keep out on. So the next match is uh, versus a Rain team, I guess. Somewhat. Anyways, he leaves off with Ferton. I go for the Grim Snarl just because uh, why not? I go for the sub he, as he sets up his uh, strikes and stealth rock. I go for the nasty plot. Now here I go for uh, Dark Pulse as I do a clean like 50%, 59. 
So it's uh, easy to hit Korea. So uh, he sacrifices his fair turn because he doesn't need it anymore, which I, I don't mind. So he brings his, his impeller pair. I go for the substitute. He goes for U-turn and he does not break my sub, thank God. So now he brings in Hatterini. Then he goes back into impeller just to sack it off. So yeah, two down by just by Grimsnarl. Grimsnarl takes two, two Pokemon's down. He goes into Dreadnought. Breaks my sub, I go for the Dark Pulse and finish it off. Three down by the, the Grim Snarl. So yeah, three zero. I'll go for the textbook just to uh, just to take a liquidation. Now here I predict the Psychic Fangs. So I go into Orbital as he dies in Maxes and goes for the Psychic Fangs. It turns out he's Choice Banded, which is great to know. So uh, it does only like 22%, I guess. So now I switch back to Toxic predicting the Max Geyser. I should have just gone into Jellison, but uh, whatever. Now here I just decide to stack off Orbital since I don't need it. As he goes for Max Geyser, Max Geyser, Geyser, sorry. Anyways, I bring in Jellicent, uh, just to take the Max Geyser. As he brings out uh, Dragapult, switches out in Dragapult. I go for the String Staff, long as its attack. Turns out he's a, he's a special attacker, but it doesn't matter. I can just bring out Grim Snarl just to take the Shadow Ball. So I bring out Grim Snarl just to take out, uh, just to take the Shadow Ball, which does thirty percent. I can't go for the sub because it's just gonna break. So I just go, f so I just decide to go for the Draining Kiss. I just as as I finish Dragapult off. So yeah, now he, he, my partner or my enemy or opponent does, uh, gives up or forfeits. So in this match, Grimsnarl took down three po Pokémon and finished off uh, Dragapult. Now the final match is uh, where he sh truly shines. Anyways, let's get started. So I leave it all, all brittle as he leaves the, the bow down. I go for the U-turn. Um, actually, I go for the trick right. I, I, I change the set here. So now I go for Jellicent. Uh, he taunts me. Whatever. I, I'll just go for. Uh, I guess six. Yep. So uh, the doing chip damp or uh, t breaking the sash on Poltergeist is excellent. So he goes for Shadow Ball, I really don't care as long as he doesn't set up on me. So I decide to stay in and go for another Hex. So thank god he did not, he did not uh, uh, go for Shell Smash. Now here, uh, now here I just bring in Grim Snarl because I can easily take a Shadow Ball. He, he does get a, dis a strength, um, special defense drop. But thank god he doesn't go for another Shadow Ball but instead goes for the Strength Sap. So that's a weird set, uh, Poltergeist set. Anyways, he brings in Hippowdon. Now here I just go for the Dark, the dark Pulse because I thought he's gonna go for the Whirlwind. But turns out he does not have it, so I decided to go for the Nasty Plot. After knowing that he does not have it. So now, uh, so yeah, like I said, uh, I decided to go for the Nasty Plot. As he go for, goes for another Slack Off. So now I uh, go for the Dark Pulse and see how much I do. Uh, I do around uh, 77%, which is excellent, so it's a 2 hit KO. So I go for another Dark Pulse, as he brings in SQ. Oh, actually, I go for the Dragon Kiss just to recover. But it turns out he goes into SQ. Now he goes for the Tech, as I go for the Sub just to see what he's going to, he's going to do. Thank God, uh, thank God I outspeed it and just finish, out, finish it off on another Dark Pulse. He brings in uh, Powdown just to get uh, the Sand, and then he sacks off his Poltergeist. So yeah, two down, uh, Grim Soul takes down two, two Pokemons. He brings in Corviknight as I go for the Dark Pulse. He goes for the Taunts for some reason, anyways. I go, uh, so I basically, I just finish finish uh, Corviknight. Now he, he now here he decides to bring in Dracophage. I go for the Jelly Scent as he goes for Fisher Strand. Now here I predict him to go into Corsola just to counter my Jelly Scent as I bring in Grim Snarl. Now here I go for the sub. Turns out he does not have Nightshade but Whirlpool just to trap my just to trap the opponent. Anyway, this is my chance to set up Nasty Plot and just finish off the game. So Nasty Plot is uh, too easy to hit KO. He does get the, he does get the rest uh, disabled, but I don't care. Dra draining kiss should finish off for the rest of this team. So I go for draining kiss, and then he sacks off the power down. I go for draining kiss, it dies. So lastly, Dracovage, and then I decide to finish this off with style. So I go for the Giga Max to this beast, and it turns out when you Giga Max, you break, you get rid of your sub. I never knew that. So yeah, so yeah, this is a match where Grimstar got uh, like a six uh, six uh, six kills. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, showcase, and um, like and subscribe if you did, and goodbye. So I just wanted to show off this clip from the fourth match. Basically, a uh, Nazi plot uh, dark post from uh, Grim Snarl, how much it will do to, to Toxifex. So Toxifex doesn't break my sub, I'm going for dark post, it does around 63%, so it's a two hit KO. He has to go for another uh, scout just to break my sub. Anyways, I just go for uh, substitutes, brings, this, brings in his Zarmanitan, he goes for U-turn, breaks my sub. Uh, just go for Dragon Kiss for recovery. Uh, as you can see, Grimstar is just gonna uh, claim two souls right here. Just wait. 
Yes, yeah, so, uh, for some reason, sacrifices their manitan. So yeah, that's one soul down, or one one poor unfortunate soul, and then there's the raw dawn who dies. That's all what that grimsal did 